Okay guys, so for those of you who didn't see my other video, I had released a video, um, basically I had purchased a ColecoVision and I really didn't know a lot about it. Um, I didn't know that it required things such as uh, the expansion modules for certain video games. And I found that out because one of the games that I actually got with the system was a game called Turbo. And when I put it in, the controller wouldn't work at all. And I thought something was wrong with my system, or wrong with the game. But no, it literally, um, certain games are required the expansion module. Now something interesting about this particular expansion module, it's not really necessarily even an expansion module. This is a, um, this is just a standard controller, as you see here. But it was advertised as an expansion module, and it is required. Um, so, some things that I've read about it is, um, so with the gas pedal, this uh, doesn't gradually increase the speed or anything or change gears. Um, it's just a switch, so it's just a single gear. So just something to take note of with that. If you plan on purchasing this. Steering wheel is quite, quite small. Um, although this, I mean, this was made for children, so that makes sense. And something I didn't know is this, uh, it requires batteries. Now I don't know if this is, I haven't, like I said, I have not tested this at all yet. When I purchased it, I did actually buy it off eBay, and they said it was tested. Uh, we will find that out shortly. But uh, it requires four C batteries. I don't know if that's just for the sound or it actually operates the controller itself. Um, but I put them in there anyway, so we'll see. I don't know if this thing has sound. I know some of these controllers that I've tested um, in game systems do have internal sound in the controller. So. I said this is the ColecoVision expansion module number two. Um, so yeah, we're going to test this out. I'm going to try to get some footage of um, the controller as I play um, while playing the game. So I'm kind of curious to uh, see how I'm going to set that up, but we're going to try anyways. All right, so I'll see you there. All right, so here we are. Um, I actually did a test run before I started this and I learned some things about it I had to go to one of my forums and get some information but um, when I started playing the it would start out doing decently fast and then it would slow down so what um, I found out so no there's no gear switching in the pedal itself however if you there's this little spot. I thought this spot here was actually uh, just something for the pedal to nest in while you weren't using it. But however, this little, the ColecoVision uh, standard controller actually uh, snaps right into it. And this is your gear shift. Very, very cool and interesting. And I did not note that. So that's why on the controller you have to select um, certain things about the game. So. Um, for instance, skill level one, which we're going to do. Press one. Okay. Really cool. So let's try this. I got my pedal here. Let's get over here. Okay. Still don't really know. There we go. Okay. Controls fairly well. Quite a bit of play in the steering wheel. <clears throat> I'm doing pretty good. Oh, had some juice. Uh, not juice, but oh, oil, I guess. Huh. Oh. I'd have to say, you know, for, I don't know when exactly this controller came out, but I guess it was in the early 80s. Um, this is pretty neat for something of that time. Ah, man. <laughs> Looked funny when it crashed. Mm. That's one, I don't like getting hit from behind. 
Okay, so... Here we go. So I think to... I don't know that you can actually win. I think it just goes by Cars Pass, maybe. I'm not really sure. Maybe you can win. Let's try and see. Ooh, curves get hard. Oh, come on. I will say, this is kind of a strain. Oh, man, come on. They switched up on me. Mm. Now I can't see what's behind the thing. God dang. Okay, so there's the... F oh, give me that. I don't know what that does. What? I thought that was going to give me health. <laughs> That's the ambulance, I guess. Dang, come on. I mean, why would I need health for? Oh, now it's dark. Oh, God. I'd have to get in a much more comfortable position to make this, uh... Something I'd play for a long period of time. But it is fun, I gotta say. Mm. I do like the different surroundings, too. I do like that. Ooh, and this, is this snow? I feel like I noticed a little bit of different. And I blew up. I guess if you crash so much, you blow up. Huh. Well, that was definitely interesting and enjoyable. Yeah, so I would definitely recommend. <clears throat> and I know this is not the only game that uses the uh, expansion module too. I know there's a few others um, that I'm kind of thinking about getting. I know Dukes of Hazard. Uh, it's one of them, and it's kind of like a first-person view racing game. So I want to try that as well. But yeah, I would definitely recommend this. Um, if you don't have it, just at least give it a shot. It's really... Um, I think it's uh, really innovative for the, like I said, early 80s. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys.